Lord puts his hand on something, listen, failure is not an option. Failure is not an option, so. I'm loving the vibe that you're giving me. I'm thinking my heart can be safe. A feeling I needed and there I can breathe again, making it hard to deflate. Only thing on my mind. Okay, so welcome to another vlog. Today I'm doing a day in the life as an assistant and also as a third year medical student. So I wanted you guys to join me in this new little venture. I've been working as an assistant for about, I just started, so maybe like a month, two months now. Um, it's a part-time position, so I have time to still do work. I'm a busybody. There's no surprise. So just join along with me. Right now it is, what time is it? Hey Google, what time is it? It's 8.30. Ooh, girl. We gotta go. Okay, so I'm just doing my skincare right now. I'm gonna be honest. <clears throat> is this done? This is one of my favorite products. The salicylic acid thing from, what is this? Glow Recipe? Is it done? Okay, so let me just rewind a little bit. I woke up at around seven, took a shower, Wash my face, brush my teeth, obviously. And now I'm just doing my skincare. So, normally for this position, I do like to do like a little makeup look, but I don't even know if I have time to do that. I've been trying to film this day in the life <clears throat> for the past week. And honestly, you hear that honestly? <laughs> I just feel like things have been getting in the way. And I'm gonna just, I want it to be as realistic as possible. So I kept like not doing it. Cause I'm like, this is not perfect. This is not this, it's not that. But the reality is life is not perfect. Things are not gonna always be as pretty as you want it to be. Right now, I don't know if you guys hear, I'm very congested. I don't know if I'm getting allergies. I don't know what's going on. I don't usually get allergies. like. I don't, I don't have allergies, so I don't know what's going on, but I'm literally always congested and always sneezing once I step outside my house. Like, what is going on? I'm gonna go with my vitamin C serum from La Roche-Posay. This is actually a really good vitamin C serum. I don't know where I've been. A little bit expensive, but it's really good. I'm gonna do an updated skincare routine soon. But yeah, let me get to give you a little life update. Yeah, I'm studying for my step exam right now, and I've been studying for a while, and it's been really stressful, honestly, it's been super stressful. There's days where I'm super encouraged, there's days when I'm super discouraged, and there's days where I'm just like, yo, I can't do this no more, I can't do this no more. But I'm just holding on to the fact that I didn't choose to be here, well, I did choose to be here, but somebody chose this for me before I did, which is the Lord. And because of that, I know that Whatever I have to do in this journey, in this venture, it has to be successful because when the Lord puts his hand on something, listen, failure is not an option. Failure is not an option. So yeah, but these past couple days, it has, I don't know, I've just been out of it and I wasn't gonna record today. I was, I was like, yeah, no, it's not happening today. I'm not feeling it, but I just wanna be as realistic as possible and you know, it will resonate with whoever it resonates with. So yeah. So like I said, I'm running a little bit late, of course. What's new? Moisturizer's on. I'm probably rubbing these things really aggressive. That's not usually how I do it, but like I said, we gotta go, we're in a rush. I'm gonna go in with this Bondi Sand SPF. Also, just started using this about two weeks ago, and I like it, and it was $6. So if you want me to link that below, let me know. Because look at y'all y'all can see like the finish on camera. What do you think? You see? You have a little glow. And it dries down a little bit more throughout the day. So I don't I don't I don't I wouldn't say it has like an oily, greasy feel. Um <clears throat> oh like what is happening? Oh I forgot eye cream. Let me just put that on real quick. My eyes be getting dry, and for some reason, when I'm in these moods, I be having crying episodes. So I need to make sure my eyes are moisturized, and it's not no no particular reason. Just sometimes, whatever I have bottled up, especially if it's before my therapy session, sometimes I just need I need an episode of just crying <clears throat> to get it all out. Okay, 
Okay, so let me loosen up my body. Y'all ain't gonna see that. This is what I'm wearing. Um, I like to keep it. I'll show a better view later. That view is actually horrendous. I like to keep it. I don't know. Since it is a job, I don't have. There is no dress code, but I do like to. I don't know. Look professional. Oh my gosh, this congestion is like really annoying. And no, it's not COVID. If you're wondering. All right, I'm gonna do my baby hairs real quick. So I can't do a quick makeup look that I've been doing the past couple of days. And I only work a couple hours a day, by the way. Most of the job is virtual, which is perfect for me. Um, but there's one day a week where I have to go into the office, so here we are. Guys, what time is it? Don't tell me it's already. Don't tell me it's already eight. Yeah, I think the mall, the mall, all we can grab from downstairs is a freaking water. Because, girl. Put my watch on. Oh, and sense of the day. If you're wondering, is this? Honestly, this is most of my days running late, so I'm not even gonna act like I'd be up at 6 a.m. or anything like that. This, we just went to the office. So the first thing I like to do is look through the emails. So I have to answer any student email that comes through through the email platform. So, once I step into the office, so yeah, once I step into the office, the first thing I like to do is immediately check emails and answer any student emails about related to health professional fields or just about joining any program related to that. We have an email. And the perks of this job is that I have my own office. I can't really talk about because of other people. Um, like next door and across the street for me. So, yeah, I'm in the office, which I love. Um, and I can also come here like during the school year to get some studying there if I need like a quiet space. So. so after I answer emails, I'm also creating different events going on, like health professional specific events going on for the students, the undergraduate students. I create the announcements for them to see those things. So that's what I'm also doing right now. The organization will come to me and tell me what they want to have advertised and then I'll create the flyer and that's the form them to tell the students to come and come to their event. NA465. NA465. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. I just got access to Okay. Connect dot records. 
I'm packing up to go to the meeting downstairs. So made it back home. Yeah, so I pretty much just left my meeting. It was like an hour long and we were just talking about programming ideas. So obviously I wasn't gonna record that. I just got home. I just put stuff in the washing machine because I had some dirty clothes and now I'm getting ready to eat lunch, which I only have 20 minutes to do because I have a Zoom meeting at one. So this workday is a little longer than my normal one is. So yeah, just put my dinner in the microwave. I am starving. So definitely want to eat something before I hop on the Zoom. I'm trying to make this as realistic as possible. So literally what I'm doing, you guys will see. So yeah, so I just put stuff in the washing machine, waiting for my food to finish. My bun was like, it wasn't tight, but it was still hurting for some reason. So I took it down. But yeah, let me go get my dinner because child, I'm hungry. Have y'all seen the new Netflix show God's Favorite Idiot? It's like so stupid, but so funny. So this is like my break time, right before I sleep kind of show. My food's taking forever to warm up and I'm starving and I have seven minutes on the clock. Are we gonna be able to eat before this meeting? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Okay, no worries. Okay. But I feel like now I'm very like, nope, that's mine, don't touch it. Because of that, because I grew up like sharing everything, I'm like, now that I have things that are mine, I'm like, you have to ask first. It's not just automatically, you know? Yeah, I, I'm like the opposite. Like now, because it's just so easy, like I don't know how to have it. Mm. Like, so anything I have, I'll, I don't know. I just like give it to my siblings. So it's, I feel like- It's good. It's I'm a good thing for them. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's actually a good treat. Of course, instead of taking a nap, I decide to Wash dishes, tidy up, do things around the, the apartment. So I actually have to wash my humidifier because like I said, I think, I think I'm developing allergies. So I don't know what the issue is, but I'm going to make sure that my air that I'm breathing in is pure. So let me just wash this. that's that I'm gonna go upstairs I'm so exhausted but like I don't know why my body instead of taking a nap I'm finding everything to do all right I'm gonna go take a nap because I can't do this I'll see y'all soon so I've been studying for a few hours so now it's time to make some dinner I'm exhausted and it's literally um sorry <laughs> it's literally only 7 30 so yeah so there's that so let me I'm gonna lie one of the things I look forward to the most in the day is when it's time for me to eat dinner
thing I don't like to do is when I'm eating dinner, I will not study because it's my time. So I usually find a show to put on and I'm much on with that. Tell me that this doesn't look amazing. Tell me that this doesn't look amazing. <sighs> Let's see. Guys, you know how I told you guys that this today has been really like hectic. Well, of course my Wi-Fi goes out today. Welcome to a day in the life. Yeah, yeah. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm so in between, in mid studying, so I'm just waiting for it to come back on because I can't do anything unless it's on. And my hotspot is not strong, so it's not gonna like actually load the website I need to load so I'm doing great thanks for asking the Wi-Fi has popped up let's see if it works yes. 30 minutes later let's see if it works I literally cannot breathe I can breathe out of that out of this nostril out of this nostril it is working now, so let's get back to studying because I have a checklist that needs to get checked off. <laughs> it's just going so freaking slow. Like, what the heck? It's game time. So I read, obviously I read the whole thing first, and then <clears throat> I highlight certain things. So he's four years old, he has fatigue, so I highlight his symptoms of course. You can highlight, you know, what is showing up on his body. He has anemia and thrombocytopenia according to the labs. He has ALL. Okay, boom. What is the question asking? So the, which of the following you need to the daughter's strand that is synthesized in the opposite direction of the growing replication fork? Okay, so the opposite direction of the growing replication fork. So pretty much we're talking about DNA polymerase, but what is happening to the daughter's strand in the opposite direction? So all this, you really don't even need to know. You really need to know everything from here down. So you kind of get, you know, you kind of figure out what the question's asking as you keep doing more questions, but sometimes they just add a whole bunch of fluff for no reason. So I think it's this question, this answer. And I'm wrong. That's okay. The notification begins at multiple sides within the eukaryotic chromosome called origin of replication. Okay. Synthesis of the daughter's strands occur simultaneously from both parents' strands because DNA can only occur in the five parts of the direction. One daughter strand is synthesized continuously toward the replication fork. The lagging strand that this is called the um, Okazaki fragment. Yeah, right here. Okay. I like to always read why I got what I picked wrong. So I go directly to choice C and read why why that was wrong. DNA polymerase has three prime five prime X nuclease activity that allows them to reverse direction and remove incorrectly placed bases. So basically, I was wrong because, oh, this is occurring on both 
daughter strands. This is asking specifically for the daughter strand that is going in the opposite direction of the growing application work. Okay, so this is true. It's just not specific to the daughter strand going in the opposite direction. So you have to know why you got things wrong. So some of these you just kind of have to know. And clearly, I didn't know it. So the answer was endonuclease. So the defect in someone with xeroderma pigmentosum is nucleoside exo exo excision repair. As you can see, doing questions, you won't always get them right, and that's okay. You don't want to, you know, get discouraged. You just keep doing questions. Like I'll be doing questions for hours at a time, and some of them I'll get them wrong, and it'll frustrate me. But then I take a break, recuperate, get your mind back, and go back to doing questions. You keep doing more questions. The bonus of it all is that you'll kind of see patterns and you'll start to remember stuff so and some of these are just stuff you have to know there's not really much explanation to it it's just stuff that you have to know so in this case i'll just what i'll do is i'll just highlight like a like one of the like the sentence in the explanation with the key um summary of the question and why the answer was what the answer was I'll highlight it and just put it into my notebook so I can just refer to it later because it's just kind of like I had to know it and if you don't you get it wrong so yeah so I'm gonna finish up some more questions and right now it's 10 o'clock so we're probably gonna do questions for about two more hours maybe three I'm gonna make myself some hot tea because I'm getting tired and yeah let's just do more questions and make it out and then as you keep doing more questions you'll you have a win so Sometimes it's discouraging, but like I said, there'll be wins, there'll be losses, and we have a win. in the shower I started laying in bed thinking I was just like gonna have the audacity to fall asleep without you know taking a shower you know washing my face and stuff like that and then I got up real quick and got out the shower so I just wanted to show you guys some skincare I probably won't talk through it but I will show you my products and that'll be the end of the vlog so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you enjoyed my day in the life it wasn't really that eventful to me but you know, here we are. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel to be notified for future videos. Don't forget to like this video because it does help my channel. And comment. Comment what you, if you have any questions about working while in medical school. If you have any questions about how to find a job. How to find something that won't take too much of your time. But still give you adequate hours. Ask me anything. Comment anything. And I'm looking forward to see you guys in my next vlog. Enjoy my skincare routine.